Groups that protect domestic violence victims say don't be quick to judge Janae Rice's remarks. That's because domestic violence is a very complex issue. Night on Your Sides, Shannon Kettler talked with one tri state mom who wants her daughter's death to serve as a message that it's never too late to get out. I put it out there because I want people to stop and say, Why did you hang this out here? Because I want to tell Candy's story. But finally began to live life again. She had the sparkle in her eye. The sparkle and laughter are what Terry Blackburn misses most about her daughter Candy. The 32 year old mother of three recently left an abusive relationship with her husband. It all changed November 6, 2013. That's when Candy went to her husband's Westchester home to check on her children. He lured her to their, his house, saying that their daughter was going to commit suicide. So she went there and she was sound asleep. And when she went back out to her car, he followed her and he shot and killed her. Brian Dunn died after shooting himself. Terry wants her daughter's story to increase awareness of domestic violence. This graphic video of football player Ray Rice punching his wife is putting it in the forefront. It's no surprise a batterer can be a guy dealing drug on the streets or a CEO of a major company. Teresa Singleton with YWCA says it's important not to judge why women don't immediately leave. If a woman decides that she's going to stay with her partner, we support her choice uh, because women stay in abusive relationships for myriad reasons, uh, including fear of being killed. It was too late for Candy Dunn, but her mom hopes other survivors will take action. Right now, we, they have three children that don't have parents, and I hate for anybody to go through what I've gone through. In Anderson Township, Shannon Kettler, Nine on Your Side.